Hello, hello, everybody. I'm Steve Reinhardt, CEO and CTO of Artificial Intelligence Technology Solutions and our amazing four subsidiaries. This is your weekly update. I hope we are your favorite, most exciting company and journey to follow. Thank you very much for being here. While you're here, like, subscribe, share, do all those great things. I'm on the road this week, as you can see, filming from a hotel as I do from time to time. Uh, and it has been, as usual, an intensive week of travel, uh, traveling with Luke Ross, our executive vice president this week. And he snapped this photo of me, uh, which I don't know if it was flattering or not, but I thought it was kind of funny. So I'll throw it in the, in the, in the chat here, but I was exhausted after some uh, hardcore flying and travel. You all know how I do it. So anyway, let's get right into this. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about the week that we had as we tend to. We're going to talk a little bit about what else is going to happen in February. Let's start with sales because we just had our biggest sales run in terms of daily sales that we've ever had. And specifically what I mean from Monday, January 27th through to Tuesday, February 4th, we received an order from somebody every day. So seven business days in a row and order. Most of those days were multi-unit. Some of those days were multi-unit, multi-customer, which is awesome. So that is a record. That deserves a moment, a celebration. Seven days, seven orders. That does not include Red R. Red R, I'm pretty sure, receives orders every day of some number of orders. So that's excluded from this. This is purely for Rad Inc. Uh, so that's awesome, right? And I think what's really cool about these seven days straight of orders is that sales are coming in. The funnel is looking great. And we've got some more whales in the funnel. You already know about a couple of our whales in logistics. You know about our one big whale in healthcare. You know that we've got some other whales that we're hoping to come online in healthcare as well. And what's happening? Why is this happening? Well, listen, we're getting better across the board. You've heard me say before, if you just focus on getting a little better every day, before you know it, you're really good. And that's what's happening here. Our sales team is getting really good. Our production is amazing. Our product is better than ever and continuously getting better. We've got Ava 4 coming out, which is going to be big. And Rio, of course, is producing incredible results for clients and for us and for you as a company. And what's next is bringing in more of these whales. A couple of things that are going to be driving this that we're seeing results of right now is we're seeing a higher quality of incoming lead. So we're seeing the new dealers that are signing up as knowing a lot about us before they sign up. We're seeing customers come to us ready to shorten that purchasing cycle because they already know about us. So some of the efforts that we've been pouring into sales and marketing, which I shared with you over the last couple of months, we would start doing because increasing revenues get us to positive operational cash flow sooner. That's what we want to do. That is the huge milestone that we're so focused on for AITX right now this year. Get to that point. And I want to talk about that a little bit. So we know that we've got the sales coming in. We know our product is wanted. We've got a strong funnel. We're going to be bringing in the whales we're going to have a huge ISC West in a couple of months. A lot of work going into that. And what I want to share with you is that, yes, we're adding a little bit of SG&A sales and marketing in order to accelerate that revenue growth. I've shared this, um, but I want to share a little bit more on the growth of SG&A because what's happening behind the scenes that I'm sharing with you for the first time today related to SG&A is the fact that SG&A is slowing. You know it's slowing. We're not hiring as many engineers and software developers as we have over the past six months because our internal AI tools that assist us are going to be coming online soon. This basically means that right now where we use operators for different types of tasks right now, and it's okay at under a thousand deployed units, it's okay to do that. But the vision is 10,000 units, 50,000 units. So we're developing a series of AI operators in order to perform a lot of these tasks. 
not just for our customers, but for us as well, so that we can really slow down that SG&A growth because we have critical mass. It's important for you to know that. It's important for you to know that when we push back that goalpost of SG&A, when we push back that goalpost of operational cash flow, it is not a goalpost that we will continuously push back. We will do everything we possibly can to hit positive operational cash flow this year as quickly as possible. And that means controlling expense and growth. And that means bringing on tools that not only we make for our customers, but we make them for ourselves as well. The tool that is driving a lot of excitement from our existing customers and new clients is, of course, Sarah, our speaking autonomous response agent. Sarah replaces operators that work in call centers. It is a job that won't exist anymore the way that it exists in the past. And the easiest analogy that I could bring to this story is back in the olden days, 40s, 50s, 30s, 20s, we had buildings full of switchboard operators doing switchboards, right? Now that job doesn't exist. Number one, it was a terrible job. And number two, the job doesn't exist. So we're bringing on operators to do that at a lower cost, faster and better, just like switchboard operators were changed by the microprocessor. This progress is inevitable. Somebody will do it. And right now that somebody is us. I couldn't be more excited for our team, for our clients and for our dealer network, because in every series of change, there are winners and losers. And I am committed to us being on the winning side of change. We're in a state of transition in the globe right now. And this is what I see. And this is what fuels my passion to work and to travel and do everything I have to do to keep this mission going forward. The world is going to look different in 10 years. Winners and losers committed to being on the winning side. Okay, I want to share a couple of other things here and there, and then we're going to close up. First thing is Rad R, Rad Cam. I love it, love it, love it. Version 17 of the software side is probably out by now. If not, it'll be on Monday or Tuesday. Just trimming it up, making it even better. Steve Danilin, our newly appointed president, is doing amazing work. You're going to see more Rad R, Rad Cam advertising, and you're also going to see more Rio advertising. So our newest Rio 360 uh, 3D ad is either running now or it's going to be running next week. A very, very smart ad produced at minimal cost as usual. Let's spend our money reaching people, not doing dramatic production. We're going to end this week's weekly video on an interesting note that I want you to consider. Did you know that only 60 to 70% of NASDAQ companies are positive cash flow. Did you know that? This is according to GPT. I asked ChatGPT. So that's an interesting data point. What I think is also an interesting data point is, according to ChatGPT, only 10 to potentially 20% of companies listed on OTC markets are positive cash flow. So when we achieve this operationally, it'll put us in incredible company. This is one of the many reasons why we're so focused on positive operational cash flow. I think it's going to be an amazing moment for us if we hit it. I don't know how long it's going to take us to hit operational positive cash flow, but I can tell you that when it does, it is going to be a remarkable moment in our company's history, maybe in the OTC as well, because not many companies achieve that but I think it's gonna distinguish us from so many other companies. Well, from 80 to 90% of the other companies on the OTC markets. So very, very exciting. Thank you so much for being part of our journey. We'll see you around.